So when we're playing DSD, if you try and run DSD through a Windows or a Mac computer, it doesn't know what to do with DSD in its raw form. No, the, the computer doesn't. Right. But there's software that does. Right, so um, some of that is called, the way they deal with that is called DOP. Yes. Um, so help us understand what DOP is. Uh, well, it stands for DSD over PCM. And it basically uses the PCM format uh, to carry DSD data. So it's basically using the PCM format just as a just as a data carrier. What is it? It's not converting DSD. No, it's not converting DSD to PCM. Mm -hmm. It's just using that format to move the data, the DSD data. Right. So it has it, it's converting it to a different form, but not. A different audio form. Right. So if I remember right, it, it uses a PCM header for each word. That's and right. It breaks the DSD up into smaller bits um, or some smaller chunks, if yeah. you will, to fit into the 16 or 32 bit right. word. Right. Uh, and then it's so it's kind of disassembled and then reassembled. Is, is that a good way to? That's a good way to put it. You know, one of our first recorders that we made, we were actually taking DSD uh, and and recording it in the PCM mode. So it was a PCM recorder that didn't know it was recording DSD. This, so, well, uh, it's just like DOP. Yeah. We were taking the data that would go over, you know, the, the AES signal and record it as a, as a PCM uh, a data stream inside the recorder mm -hmm. and uh, convert it back on the way out. So it's still just DSD data being recorded in the PCM container, so yeah. to speak. Yeah. You know. Uh, and, and do you think that um, is is could could we say that DSD is as good as analog? Is it better? <coughs> is it this? I mean, well, you know, uh, it's good. It's good in some ways. Maybe better in some ways, and okay. maybe not as good in some ways. Because analog still has an infinite sample rate, right. DSD doesn't. Mm -hmm. um, but when you're in the studio, how much difference do you hear when you're making a recording? Because you you have the pure feed from the microphone coming right into the studio, right? And and you hear that. What, I've, always, I've always I've always thought that in terms of quality, mm -hmm. DSD is on par with a half inch two track machine running at thirty amps. To okay. me, to me. If I go between those two formats, I feel like I'm not losing anything. Interesting. So explain to us, newbie, what, what does it mean, a half-inch running Well, it, it would, it would mean, mean half-inch wide tape where it's split. Normal, normal is what, quarter-inch? Normal is quarter-inch for consumers. Okay. And, and actually for professionals. Yeah. Mostly it's quarter-inch. Okay, so this is twice <clears throat> as high as regular it's, tape? It's twice as high. And uh, half-track means that half the tape is used for one channel, the other half for the other channel. So there's two channels on a half inch tape. Each track gets a quarter inch. Uh, and the higher the speed, the better the frequency response. So, uh, so to me, the- at 30 inches a second? 30 inches a second, wow. 30 IPS, yes, 30 inches a second. Where 15 inches per second was, when I was in, in radio, that was considered pretty high high speed it, yeah the normal is yeah. like seven and a half right well not for professional not for professional right. 15 at 15 quarter inch is pretty much standard for a lot of professional work right so this uh, is 30 so 30 you're using up a lot more you know uh tape Twice and and of course the reel that's 10 inch mm -hmm. well now you got 15 minutes instead of 30 minutes right. and that was always a hassle when working in studios but mm -hmm. uh but if the if you know if you want that quality, you, you've done a fair amount of work transferring analog tape over to DSD. Yes. Uh, didn't you work on Pink Floyd? Help with I helped with that, but that was Doug Sachs and James Guthrie. I right. I, I was involved in uh, making the SACD masters for those. But uh, you mm -hmm. know James and Doug and Joel, they were doing the mastering, and I was doing the Sonoma work and the authoring and stuff like that. Uh -huh. But yeah. And, and uh, on which, which albums was that? We did uh, Wish You Were Here, yeah. uh, Dark Side of the Moon, 
and and the Roger Waters record, uh, Muse to Death. Mm -hmm. yeah. So those are the three uh, that I worked on with them. We, we also worked on the Diana Krall record, uh, The Girl in the Other Room. We did that up at James's place, and uh, Doug Sachs was there for that. Mm -hmm. Toys in the Attic, Jack Douglas was there for that, but still, my part of it was yeah. just making the SA, SACD Masters. Right. And, and, and they did the actual mastering. They did the mastering, yeah. yeah. All in the analog domain, going through Tim DePeravicini EQ and compressors, and uh, just all premium stuff, really good stuff.